We'll now talk about integer representations. Essentially what that means is representing an integer in several different bases. Kind of the idea, if I have this number 93,214, in base 10, what this really represents is 9 times 10 to the 4th plus 3 times 10 cubed plus 2 times 10 squared plus 1 times 10 plus 4. And we learn this in a way when we very first learn about place value in numbers, we have our ones place, our tens, our one hundredths because ten squared is one hundred, thousands, ten cubed is one thousandths, ten thousandths, ten to the fourth is ten thousandths. So now our idea is to look at representing different numbers in different bases. Here, I have a number in base 2 that I want to represent in base 10, which is called decimal. Essentially, here we have our 1's place. This is our 2's, 2 squared, 2 cubed. I'll write these numbers underneath to help us keep track. This is 2 to the 4th, 2 to the 5th, to the 6th, the 7th, and the 8th. So this is 1 times 2 to the 8th. I have a 0 2 to the 7th and a 0 2 to the 6th. I then have a 1 2 to the 5th, a 1 2 to the 4th. I have a 0 2 to the 3rd. I have a 1 times 2 squared, a 0 times 2, and then the very last integer which is just a 1. And now we can simply add these numbers up. And when we do, we get 309. So this number in base 10 is 309. I now have this number base 8 that I want to represent in decimal. And base 8 can also be said by saying octal. So this is our octal representation. We want to move it to decimal, which is base 10. Here's my 1's place, so that's 8 to the 0 power, 8 to the 1st power, 8 squared, and 8 cubed. So 6 times 8 cubed, plus 4 times 8 squared, plus 3 times 8, and then plus the last 1. And now we can simply work this out. And when we do, we get 3,353. So now we have our base 10 representation. My next example, I have a number in hexadecimal, which is base 16. And when we're dealing with base 16, this means that we need 16 different digits. We have 0 through 9. However, I can't use a 10 because I can't tell if that's an actual a 1 and then a 0, or if it's a single digit 10. So instead, we're going to represent our last six digits with letters. So 10 means A, 11 corresponds to B, 12 for C, 13 for D, 14 is E, and 15 is F. This way we can have a unique symbol to represent every digit. Now when I go back to number, here's my ones place, so that's 16 to the zero power, to the first power, second, third, and fourth. See here I have three times 16 to the fourth power, plus B represents 11, times 16 to the third power, F represents 15, times 16 squared. I also have a zero times 16, so that would just be zero. And then plus C, which is 12. And now we just need to work this out. 
And when we do, we get 245,516 in base 10.